Hi, I'm Julia. Welcome to Julia Lives. Today, I'm going to show you around Barcelona, Spain. We paid 138 US dollars for this rickshaw tour for that included two people with pickup at our hotel, which was kind of off the beaten path. It was more in the business district area. Our rickshaw driver was from the Netherlands. He was great. He was very knowledgeable, very easy to understand, and really knew a lot of the history of Barcelona. He did go to the wrong Hilton and was about 40 minutes late, but he contacted us and told us, and then he extended the tour. So just be aware of that. When he picked us up, he asked us where we wanted to visit. So it was not a tour like some I've taken where there are certain stops that they make. This was somewhat left up to us. So keep that in mind and get an idea of where you think you want to visit on this tour. Now you'll see some of Gaudi's architecture in this area of Barcelona known as Assemble. We were allowed to get out and take pictures. There wasn't time for luxury shopping. Next up, we'll make our way to Citadel Park. This was so beautiful. He allowed us to get out for quite a while to take pictures, which you'll see in a moment why. I will tell you too, he actually went up and warned a group who had left their belongings and walked away from their purses and just let them know that they should keep their purses with them. World to Barcelona for this world exhibition. Now it's made out of red brick, the one in Paris is made out of... I always appreciate it when you hit that like button. It does something to the YouTube algorithm so that more people will see this video. And thanks to everyone who subscribed to Julia Lives. You may notice in the park that there are other rickshaw drivers sitting there. They're just waiting to pick people up. So if you don't schedule it in advance, you could find the same tour available throughout the city.
So they built this uh, statue with the dogs that the kids could come and meet like uh, an elephant. And they didn't have ice age yet, so the kids could just sit brick from the top. Originally, this building was a market building, uh, built in uh, 1876. It was used as a market for about a hundred years. 
And next up, we're off to the Gothic Quarter where we concluded our rickshaw tour. He did give us some nice recommendations of souvenirs to buy and also cafes to visit while we were here. And so they, they ended up burying those people who died uh, here in this mass grave later on in the 20th century, not too long ago, when they were doing some city reforms. Nice place to give people something original made in Barcelona uh, to take home with you, and this is a great place to uh, find it. From Barcelona, he was one of the first graffiti artists to instead of. Uh, Oh. Uh, the Santa Catarina Market. 